one of the things I think it'd be remiss if we don't talk about, but is that when you're so time to act is obviously a new kind of business, it's a new entity. And part of the reason why we wanted to do this is just to talk about the story and start to tell people. But one of the big things which often drives investment is trust in the people. It's the experience, it's the war wounds, you've been there, that kind of thing as well. Would you be happy to just talk a little bit on the team that you've put together? Just because I think that will help, you know, describe more about what we're trying to do and the expertise that we've kind of brought in. Because I think that will also help, you know, sell the dream a bit more. Is that cool? Yeah, no, that's that's, that's good. Uh, when I try and define time to act, uh, we know what we do. Uh, we know our strap lines. Uh, we know what we're trying to do and where we're going. Um, but you're right in saying we can't do any of that without having people to help to execute it. Uh, and time to act is not just me by any stretch of the imagination. So what we've been building over the course of the last year uh, is a stronger and stronger board of directors. Mm -hmm. And that board of directors includes myself. It includes the former CFO of Siemens in the UK and the former, he who was also the CFO of Siemens Gamesa. It includes the former country manager uh, in the UK and Northern Ireland for a fairly well-established wind turbine company. Uh, it includes since uh, September, a young and hungry new finance director. Uh, it includes a sales and marketing director, Steve, who has experience uh, in many of the industries. That I just we make are. it up, Chris. I hate to tell you. <laughs> uh, and we are on the verge at the moment. We are, we are getting closer to closing the acquisition of a third technology to bring under the platform. Uh, and that third technology has been developed by an engineer uh, who actually specializes in the wind industry, but with a background actually in diffusion, co diffusion coating and materials science. Mm -hmm. So he would hopefully, uh, and has been, uh, we've talked to him about joining as a chief technology officer. So bringing in a chief technology officer with a range of experience across a range of renewable uh, materials disciplines is incredibly important. And when you look at those names, uh, and we could spend more time uh, describing those and filling out those names and filling out those people, what you have uh, is what I describe as a heavyweight board of directors helping SMEs punch above their weight. And that's really what defines time to act. Uh, we can act as a conduit to the financial markets, we can raise capital, we can help to commercialize, but at the end of the day, we have a substantial amount of life experience, work experience, uh, and a heavy, heavyweight board of directors who can really provide value uh, into those small companies. Couldn't have said it, said it better. And I think one of the things that I also quite like is that, you know, you look at all of the data and the analysis and stuff online, there isn't that many credible investment vehicles for businesses like this that I know we, there's so much stuff that we can't say, but you have some really, really big ones that are really good. But then likewise, often two of the USPs is the, the team that can actually get involved with smaller entities and give them the care that they deserve and kind of need to nurture them to help them grow. But then the fact that we have a base in the northeast of England, we, we quite literally, we know the companies we work in and we know the supply chain especially for investors, it's the ability to spot things before they become mainstream and find the opportunities and then, you know, have the stakeholder relationships and things to really help nurture and grow these businesses. And in some ways, do it the good old fashioned way, but still using things like streaming and using the expertise. And, and I, I just think it's a really exciting business to be in at the right time, especially, you know, arguably after the last few weeks with COP26, you know, it couldn't be a better time to create an entity like this because there is global interest in it. And then I guess part of our job, part of my job is to make sure that we articulate that as well as possible so that people see us as a credible investment vehicle to get involved in, to back us, that we can do something special in the space. And the more I work with the different team members and that kind of thing, I have complete faith in what we're doing. Um, and, you know, hence why I kind of wanted to get you on today.